So I'm going to go over, this is kind of the setup that I use when I go in the field. This is my AP uh, 900 mount on a custom built tripod, uh, kind of a custom power distribution setup with a uh, essentially a GSO 10 inch carbon fiber Richie Christian. Um, so we can start with, I guess, the tripod. It's just a uh, aluminum tube, got the same spec as the Astrophysics mount. Um, stainless, or st we've got steel legs. These guys here welded on some brackets with some leveling feet. I uh, have some stainless steel nuts, made the stainless steel T-handles so that I can level out the system. The legs break here. They slide in, there's a centerpiece, three legs. I've got some stainless steel all thread with uh, turnbuckles and then stainless steel hardware ties into the actual mount, holes drilled and then the AP900 standard pier base adapter. So the legs slide in here, they're really solid. There's, a, there's another piece of metal that goes into here uh, and slides all the way down to here. So it's super rigid. Um, and then in order to keep the tube in place, I made notches like this so I can, it doesn't rotate. And then when I tighten it down, the, uh, the mount doesn't move at all. For my power distribution, I got two 9 volt batteries that I have in parallel. I've got this, um, looks kind of like a mess right now, but all my power comes in here. I got fuses, USB charger, so I've got my mount, focuser, um, and the uh, USB hub. And then this here powers, it ties directly into the batteries, powers. <clears throat> The power distribution for the telescope itself. So I've got the camera, I've got a free slot, the dew heater, fans for the um, cooling of the telescope's mirror and focus controller. And then fans has a nice little feature here, a little toggle switch. All right? Made these custom short little leads so everything fits perfectly. I bought these, uh, these were all the same, I think it's 2.1 by 5.5 millimeters or something like that. Um, and just, these were 20 mil, 20, cent, 20 inches long each, and then I just cut them all the length. Focus controller, wireless focus controller up front. You got the Lodestar. Right now this is the first night I'm testing the, uh, QSI 532. Um, I usually have been using the uh, the 830, uh, the 5 583. I mean, and it's worked really well. But uh, this is my first time trying this thing out. Got the um, right angle polar alignment scope. This is also the first night for that. And then. Uh, there's just my workstation, and I got a big uh, Pelican case that the OTA fits in. It goes on the roof. Everything else goes in the trunk and in the back seat, and that's how I get it all here. So uh, enjoy. Oh, one last thing I wanted to show is how my umbilical goes. So everything ties into this umbilical. So I've got power, USB for the uh, guider. And, um, and, um, and then the, the guide cable that goes down for guiding co comes in through here. Everything comes down and terminates. It either comes up and terminates into the, into the, uh, AP, uh, the, sorry, the, G the GTO controller, or it tie ties down here into the, um, into the USB hub so it's actually really nice it feeds right through the hole gives me great range of motion without having to worry about um, any cable dragging uh, I've found it to work really well so anyway hope this helps people